Bertie County was slammed by Isaias. Our team of meteorologists started nonstop coverage tracking the storm starting at 1115 last night until this afternoon. 13 News Now meteorologist Evan Stewart joins us now with an explanation of the conditions in Bertie that led to the tornado. That's right, and not just in Bertie County, but across the area. Here's the track of Issa Eas came in just west of Wilmington and pretty much moved almost up Interstate 95. We'll get a little bit of a closer look. Here's Emporia right through here, and you can see that path just towards the east of Emporia. And look at where all of the tornado reports are on the right side of the track. We talk all the time about the hurricane quadrants. When you have the movement of the storm, it's always the front right quadrant that has the strongest winds and the tornadoes. Why? You have the forward movement of the storm and then the rotation of the storm. So you get some wind shear in the atmosphere. So those two different wind directions and those winds coming together onshore flow coming in off the water running into the friction of the ground spins up those tornadoes on the left side the front left that's where we usually have some of the strongest storm surge of course since it came ashore down in North Carolina we didn't have the impacts really of storm surge and then on the back right side significant winds that's why even as the storm passed we had those strong winds as the storm exited off towards the north and the back left side is usually considered the weakest but it is still a dangerous part of the storm.